hi everyone welcome to another video in this video we will see how we can install on premise gateway in uh, power platform so i have just created a new connection using sql server and i have clicked the install gateway option and uh, here i can see the download link i can download this to my desktop and using on premise gateway we can uh, communicate uh, with on-premise installations of SQL Server from Power Platform, and we can communicate with that with that uh, on-premise SQL Server database using my Power Apps and Power Automate informations and Power Automate applications. Okay, so let us wait. The uh, Gateway installer is going on now. This is my database uh, SQL Server database, uh, which is installed locally, and here I have created a database of chip database and a table called as TBL Leave. Okay now for this i'm using windows credential and uh, uh, so so this is the server name that server name is huge it will be used whenever we will configure the gateway now here here you can see no gateway is available but once we install this gateway now the gateway will be available on the power apps okay so let us wait it will take uh, some 40 seconds to install to download now this gateway is used whenever you want to interact with on-premise data suppose you have installed your SQL server in your local machine and you want to send send data to cloud and receive data from cloud cloud then this gateway installer should be installed in your machine and through this gateway we can connect the power platform now it is downloaded it's it will take another five seconds once it is downloaded uh, once it download completed i will run the installation file exe file and uh, the application will open for me till now the gateway is saying no gateway available now i will install the gateway the first thing is we have to accept the terms conditions where you want to install the on-premise gateway click install and uh, once you will install it will success within some seconds and once it is success you have to uh, click ok right now it is success click ok now it will open the gateway interface where it will ask more uh, informations like username and uh, gateway password First, we have to use the email address for which we always log in our uh, Power Platform license. Okay, so we have to use. I am using my credential, uh, my email ID, Shanjay at subchip dot subchip twenty twenty two dot on Microsoft dot com. This is the username that I use whenever I will log in uh, Dynamics Online. Once you give, click on sign in. Now, once you click sign in, it will kick out kick the uh, prompt screen to provide the email uh, the username and password okay in that screen you have to uh, give your username and password that you use always to log in dynamics 365 online okay now here i am giving my email id and uh, not email id this is the username and uh, click next here I will mention my password that I use to log in. Now, once you click sign in, it will let you configure more configuration points for this on-premises gateway data gateway. Now, it is asking whether you want to register a new gateway on this computer or you want to migrate migrate or restore an existing gateway. As I want to create a new gateway, click on next. Now, here you have to give a on premise data gateway name i am giving sub chief gateway and uh, you have to give a recovery password because if uh, by any chance if uh, the data gateway is lost or any error uh, you want to restore then this password will be used so remember this password for future so once you click configure now it will let me in uh, the configuration of the on-premise data gateway is done 
now i can navigate to the power platform to check if i can see this gateway in my gateway list or not let's let us wait for some couple of seconds now you can see the power app and power automate is ready power bi environment is ready if you want to configure uh, azure gateway also for logic apps you can configure but right now i don't want to configure for azure, uh, azure logic apps so i am just checking if everything is okay or not using the service settings we can uh, you know change the password of the gateway you can check the diagnostic network information connectors then recovery keys right so let's go to uh, status and check if everything is ready now i can go to power platform and i will refresh the gateway here okay there is an option called as gateway otherwise i can create a new connection click on this other data sources i want to use that sql data source using gateway in my power apps so once we clicked that option it will ask to choose a connection i am using sql server connection and uh, in authentication type i want to use windows authentication i have to give here the now you can see the choose a gateway i can see my gateway name here right now i can give the sql server name the sql server name is copied from my local uh, sql server object explorer connection explorer this is my server name you have to copy your server name and paste here next the database name the database i have created called is subchief database this is the custom database you can create your own database also and you mention your own database in the uh, gateway configuration now now this username is important this username is your computer username not uh, uh, the e email id and this password is also the password uh, that you have given for the gateway now click on ok then it will be configured for me now it will automatically create some screens in canvas apps here we have to choose the table for which i want to uh, connect with so click on the so table leave is the table that i have created in sql server click connect now once it will connect it will create some uh, predefined uh, screens and some uh, gallery control that will bind the records of the table leaf on the control right now you can see i have only one record in my uh, data in my uh, table so if you click that you can see all data is coming here if you go back to my sql server also all the data is present here i have only added one record and that is displaying in the power apps right and if we want to edit this gallery item also to add more items uh, inside a item of the gallery or if you want to change the title of a screen then you can also change it you can watch my other videos how i can uh, edit canvas apps you can learn more facts so i can edit the title i can edit the items in the gallery now i can choose the field uh, for which i want to display the title in the tally in the item of the gallery so i can go here to the edit fields i can add more fields also and i can choose mpid emp id to display the title but if i want to add more columns then i have to choose the layout okay so i have added more layouts to display more data right now i can choose title age employee id and uh, subtitle age sick leave or region right now it will display now when you run it it will display two items two informations in a list okay now you can so we can now uh, edit anything on this canvas app so that i can interchange data between my sql server uh, on premise system to canvas apps and i can also publish this canvas apps to my end user so that they can communicate with this canvas app and in background whatever logic i have written here that will interact with uh, my 
SQL Server database right now if I will want to if I want to create a new app also I can create and use that SQL Server connection at any time right now let me create a new application and uh, use that connection server uh, SQL Server connection I have a new app here I have from date to date and region and save button and I want I want someone give from date to date and region so that once it is saved a record should be created in the SQL Server table that is installed in my machine okay now I am just renaming the fields like txt to date txt from date and uh, uh, txt region so this is the naming convention we have to follow while designing canvas apps and for this button also now from the button I want to call a power automate which will call which will create the record so use power apps button power automate that will be called from the button click event so add new step and here I am adding SQL server connection I am using the same connection SQL server which is interacting with my on-premise uh, SQL server using the data gateway so I can use the server that is already available with the connection I can define the I, I can uh, select the database name also the database I have uh, created in my uh, server now the database I will select as uh, uh, subchip database and uh, in the table name I can select the table TBL name right TBL leave right this is the table so once it is selected it will give more uh, fields that I can assign here because I am calling this power automate from the power app so power apps we have to pass this information from date to date and region from power apps so always click on the uh, value and search for ask uh, to power automate then it will return ask in power apps so that it will create a dynamically dynamic parameter that we can pass from power apps so we can use ask to power automate again and uh, sorry ask to power apps for the region also I want to use ask to uh, power apps when you use ask in power apps it will automatically create a parameter that you have to pass from power apps when you call this power automate from a button click now it will automatically uh, display here click on this power apps and in the on select property of this button I want to add a formula so when you automatically add the uh, power uh, automate link to this button you can send the parameters from date to date and region to the power automate and it will create the record for me okay and you have to use on select uh, event to call the power automate right so let us wait and it is now I can go to my SQL server and it will create the new record so this is the last record that has been created by my power apps thank you guys for this session and uh, subscribe my channel and if you have not joined my channel join now to watch exclusive members member only videos thank you